In this video clip, I'm gonna be talking about the question, do they need more help than I can give them? When I talk with religious leaders, they often say, how do I know when I should refer out and whether I can do it by myself? So let's look at some of the specific things that I found over the years. First of all, individuals who have a high frequency of viewing pornography, and what I mean by high frequency, I'm talking three to five times a week, I'm talking it's just a regular basis that's been happening for years, those people generally need more support. On our website, we have an assessment that you can take that helps look at the levels of addiction. If they score higher, obviously you're gonna want more support. And it's what, what I call levels four, five, six, seven, they're gonna need more support. And we have a tool for assessing which level they're on. Next, if they're what we call binging, they'll have a period of time three or four quick episodes, and then it'll be a period of time, a week or two or three weeks, they're gonna also need more support because what's happening is in those moments, those binges, they're really craving a high and it really makes them feel out of control. So one of the things you're gonna wanna know is, are they binging? Then we need to look at the bigger mental health picture. At our website, we actually assess for depression, anxiety, stress, loneliness, because when those are elevated, high loneliness, high depression, high anxiety, there's other issues that need to be addressed. And if those are not addressed, then working with pornography or sexual addiction might be limited because their success needs to all come together. We need to work with depression. So if you're a leader and you're assessing or need help assessing, we can help with that. Now, if they are depressed, anxious, you wanna make sure that they're getting adequate uh, support through therapy or counseling. Now, other questions that you might ask them, are they socially involved with people? Individuals who are excessively lonely, they need to develop a social support team around them. So as a religious leader, you might ask the question, do you have friends, do you have people you trust, are you interacting with them? If they don't have that social support network, it may be very helpful for them to learn more social skills, and in situations like that, outside counseling would be very helpful. Now, other specific things that you should be looking for. If they struggle with ADHD, ADD, then clearly uh, that is something that needs to be addressed because the research shows that individuals dealing with sexual addiction are more prone to have ADD. And if they have untreated ADD, their success in recovery is very limited. So as a leader, you can't diagnose ADD or depression or anxiety, but if you sense it in talking with them, you might ask them questions like, do you have a lot of sadness? Are you excessively lonely? Do you worry excessively? Those are the types of questions that look at depression and loneliness and anxiety. Finally, as a religious leader, if you get to the point where you feel like you're doing more work than they are, it might be best to get them additional support because you might be carrying their load and that can overwhelm you. So we wanna make sure that if you're feeling like, I don't know what to do, make sure you reach out to professionals who understand how to treat sexual addiction. These are just some of the things that I would suggest you do when you look to refer out. Thanks for your time.